Algebraic expressions Tashi is making a pattern of square patches. At every joint, she wants to put up a lace. For this, she wants to know the number of joints. Let us see how she is sorting it out. For one square patch, there is no joint. On joining two square patches, there is one joint. On joining three square patches, there are two joints. On four patches, there are three joints. On five patches, there are four joints. With one patch increase, one joint increases. Let me put it in a table form. Here, from table, we can generalize that on subtracting one from the number of squares, we can know the number of joints, that is, x minus 1. So, with 3 squares, there will be 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 joints. And with 9 squares, there will be 9 minus 1 is equal to 8 joints. In this example, we see how a generalized form makes it easier to solve the problem. Now look in this example. If we make the squares of math sticks, then the number of sticks required will be. Let us make a table where the number of squares be x and number of sticks be y. Now from this table can we find its generalized form? As we see here in one square we need four sticks. In two squares we need three more sticks that is 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 and in 3 we need 3 more that is 7 plus 3 is equal to 10 and so on. Initial sticks is equal to 4 every time increase by 3 and the number of times we add 3 is 1 less than the number of squares which is x. This implies 4 plus 3 into x minus 1. So y is equal to 4 plus 3 into x minus 1. Such generalized forms are called algebraic expressions. Consider different kinds of fruits, say 3 mangoes, 4 apples, 2 oranges and 4 bananas. We can express it as 3m plus 4a plus 2o plus 4b. This is another type of algebraic expression. In this expression, 3m, 4a, 2o and 4b are called the terms of this expression. A term can be a 1. Constant as 3, 5, 9, 7, etc. 2. It can be a variable like x, a, y, q, etc. 3. It can be a product of a constant with a variable 2x, 3y, 2a 4. It could be a product of two or more unknown numbers such as 2abc, 3p, 4yx square. Look at these expressions. 1. 3x square minus 4x plus 5 2. x square plus 4x 3. Minus x cube plus 4x square plus 7x minus 5. 3x square is the first term. Minus 4x is second term. And 5 is the third term. 
So we can say the expression 3x square minus 4x plus 5 has three terms. In expression x square plus 4x has two terms. And in the expression minus x cube plus 4x square plus 7x minus 5 has one, two, three, four terms. The numerical factor of a term is called a coefficient. In expression 3x square minus 4x plus 5, in term 3x square, 3 is a coefficient of x square, minus 4 is the coefficient of x, and 5 is a constant value. In the expression 2, there is no number before x square, so 1 is the coefficient of x square and 4 is the coefficient of x. Types of algebraic expressions On the basis of number of terms, we can categorize them into four categories. 1. Monomial 2. Binomial 3. Trinomial 4. Polynomial 1. Monomials Algebraic expressions having only one term are called monomial, such as 4x square, 3, 9y. 2. Binomials Algebraic expressions having two terms are called binomials, as 7x plus 5, 4x square minus 7y, 5y plus 7yv. 3. Trinomials Algebraic expressions having three terms are called trinomials. As 3x square minus 4x plus 5. 4. Polynomials Algebraic expressions having 1 one or more than one term in the expression. 2. There are variables with non-negative integral exponents in the expression. For example, x cube plus 4x square plus 7x minus 5, 2x minus 4y square plus 8, 3a plus 2b, 7y. A polynomial may contain any number of terms, one or more than one. Like and unlike terms Now let us talk about like and unlike terms. 7x, 5x, minus 13x, 6x square, 8xy, 11x square y minus 7xy minus 9x square, 7x, 5x minus 13x are like terms. Whereas 8xy and 7x are unlike terms. Can you tell why? Because in like terms the variable parts are same. Whereas in unlike terms, the variable part is different. 8xy and 7x are unlike terms as their variable parts are different. So, to repeat, like terms are those terms whose variable parts are same. Unlike terms are those terms whose variable parts are not same. Like terms can be added and subtracted to get like terms. Unlike terms cannot be added or subtracted.